Prince's first wife is in the Twin Cities this week. Maite Garcia is holding events for the release of her new book. It's called The Most Beautiful, My Life with Prince. The book gives readers a glimpse into her relationship with the late singer and what made him one of a kind. Maite read some excerpts last night at the University Club in St. Paul. What you're about to hear is the moment Maite first met Prince after she asked one of, her, one of his bodyguards to give him a tape of her belly dancing to him before a concert. I like your tape, he said. Thanks. It sounded short and nervous in a trying not to be nervous kind of way, so I added, I edited it. I, I didn't want you to get bored. Bored? How could dancing like that be boring? He laughed, the contagious laugh I would, love, I would come to love. I have the whole version, if you'd like to see it. And more tapes, other tapes. Are you really 16? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh. He nodded and bounced the Easter egg on his palm. Well, would you like better seats? Sure, thanks. We'd spend our time trying to get backstage instead of getting inside the barricade, so we didn't actually have seats. Well, we'll hook you up. He glanced over my shoulder at the security guard, who nodded. Well, I'd like to talk to you more, but I gotta get ready for the show. Can I get your number? Okay, sure. <laughs> I felt something like a fire. Maite said the whole conversation lasted just about 40 seconds, but it, it's a moment that sticks with her and gives her a peaceful feeling to this day. She also said she gets emotional coming to Minneapolis because this was Prince's hometown. There's another book signing tonight. It's at the Mall of America in the Rotunda. It starts at 6 o'clock, and Maite is going to join us live in studio coming up in about an hour. Uh, the day she met Prince, five years later, is actually the same day he proposed to her. Huh. So kind of coming full circle. He proposed over the phone, yes. I think. Yeah, but uh, they do have such a, a true love story. It'll be interesting to hear more from her coming out. She's very open about it in the book. Hmm. Cool. Prince's first wife, Maite Garcia, is opening up about her private life with the late singer in a new book. It's called The Most Beautiful, My Life with Prince. Maite held a book signing last night in St. Paul. She has another one tonight, and we're so glad to have you live with us in studio this morning. Thank you. Maite, good morning. Thank Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. So Prince was so private, but a lot of people, I think, are surprised that you're really opening up in this book and sharing his story. Why now? Um, it was something that um, I'd been planning on doing, but of course with his uh, passing, uh, it kind of got accelerated and I wanted to bring a positive light and, and shed some, some um, beautiful moments with him. Well, you know, the truth is after his death, uh, everyone comes out of the woodwork to tell their Prince story. Yeah. Some people may be more close to Prince than others, right? Yeah. You were in St. Paul last night at this book reading, mm -hmm. and I was interested what that experience was like for you, considering you lived here in Minnesota for a number of years, coming back and being with other Minnesotans. What was that like? You know, it felt very, um, very comforting. It felt like I was coming back home in a way. This was his home, and he brought me to this state, and uh, I, I fell in love with it, and um, I still, I consider it kind of in a way home, so mm -hmm. it felt great. Together for both of you, it was a very happy time in your life and a very sad time when you were married, but in the book you describe it as the happiest time in his life. Why is that your time together? Um, well, I mean, creatively, um, if we look at it, I mean, Emancipation was coming out, and we got married, and we planned on having a family, and, and that's kind of something that I think we both wanted it in our lives, so I, I have to say it was, it was a happy time. You read from the book uh, the portion where you described that first meeting with Brent. Yes. Now you were 16 at the time. You were just, I mean, <laughs> I can understand you being that 16 year old and Prince wants your number, you're like, hell yes, of course <laughs> you're giving the number. But uh, you know, in retrospect, you look back and think like, whoa, I was only 16. You know, it's funny because, I mean, I was 16, but I was a professional belly dancer, and I was dancing professionally, so there was, um, school got in the way with me, and it was interesting because, of course, I wanted to finish it, and, and, but I, I had a, my vision of what I wanted to do, which was become a professional belly dancer and a dancer, so, yeah. you know, I mean, when he got my number, it, was, it wasn't like, oh, my God, he wants my number. It was like, oh, my God, 
he wants my <laughs> number, even though it's hard to describe it. Yeah, but now you have your end to, to move your career forward. Yes. Yeah. I think a lot of people are curious to know, what was he like as a lover, as a partner? If you can share a little bit. He was my best friend. And, uh, you know, uh, for to fall in love with your friend, it's, it's so magical and so important. Um, he was funny. He was talented, of course. Um, you no one liked him. No one liked him. I mean, he stole my mascara all the time. All the time. <laughs> uh, things you never imagined you'd be sharing with your husband, but that's how it, how it goes. Well, beautiful stories in this book, and you have your chance to go to the book uh, signing at the Mall of America. Tonight, it's at 6 o'clock at the yes. Mall. Yes. So very good. You'll get yeah. to see a lot more Minnesotans out of there course. tonight. It's I'm great sorry. to have you in town. Yeah, thanks for visiting us. Congratulations on the book. Certainly any Prince fan or a Minnesotan curious about those times will uh, enjoy picking it up. Maite Garcia, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Maite, thank you.